Leaving the blind to get the deer, I was just so giddy. I couldn't wait. It felt like going down that hill couldn't go any slower. The chill's starting to set in. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Crawford is an absolutely unbelievable hero. What he's been through, and now he's living his life in a wheelchair, uh, I'm very proud to know him and very proud that he's my friend. Dang. After I got hurt, I was thinking my hobby is going to go out the window because I can't walk around. It's hard to believe a bunch of high school kids came up with this design and actually built it. Then you might as well pull it off here on the sander while you're over there. You just pull a little this way first and then come in here and do a 45 here and a 45 there. Norman Vick heads up the Bernie Welding Technology Program at Champion High School in Bernie, Texas. And he's taken that to a huge program now that has helped so many kids. You can put dynamite on this thing and not hurt it. If a tornado <laughs> comes, this is the best place for him to go to. <laughs> General Leroy Cisco has been one of our strongest supporters to help the program get to where it is today. Just like the one, what, two years ago we gave that one away? And he's headed tomorrow to go elk hunting in Colorado with it. To guys like me, <laughs> Lieutenant General Leroy Cisco, Francisco is a true American hero. He's larger than life. Heck, he served 42 years in the United States Army and he still continues to serve to this day through the Military Warriors Support Foundation that's given nearly a thousand mortgage-free homes away to our heroes. It's a lot of hard work, a lot of hours, a lot more hours than I've ever put into anything. 18-year-old Morgan Thompson is joined by her classmates here at Champion High School in Bernie, Texas. What this class has been doing is making a hunting blind on a trailer for a very lucky wounded hero where he'll be able to go hunting and take his blind with him. The back door ramp will come down and we've been able to get the trailer low enough to the ground so that anybody that's in a wheelchair should have very ease of access. For all of our heroes have gone through that are in wheelchairs, the conventional hunting blind really restricts their ability to be able to go hunt. So the real challenge was to be able to set a blind up to where these heroes can be able to access it remotely with their wheelchairs and then have the freedom inside the blind to have a lot of room for movement. So basically, it's a mobile hunting blind on wheels that can go anywhere. It was January of 2016 when Donald Burton, a local hero, Green Beret, a disabled quadriplegic, reached out to us and wanted to, us to build a mobile hunting blind on his trailer. And we went ahead and built our first blind for him and donated it. And to get to see what a difference that made in Donald Burton's life and how much freedom it gave him back, it made it to where we wanted to build a hundred more of them. So we started reaching out to General Leroy Cisco and Military War Support Foundation to see if he was willing to make a partnership with us to build our second blind. And with no hesitation, General Cisco said yes, and we went into action. I feel like that's what really inspiring and that's what keeps us going through this project. All right. Just because the impact that I know it's going to have, even though it's hard and it's tough and there's a lot of hours and time put into it, um, it's really going to be worthwhile, worth the while in the end. I, honestly, I can't hardly wait until this project is finished and this blind is ready to go and presented to an American hero. I can't wait for that day. Event. We're located in Bernie, Texas, just north of San Antonio. We've got some of the most unbelievable kids, administration, and support that anybody could ask for in the state. Our welding shop is located behind the high school. It's a unique situation where we've got a campus uh, with, within a campus. Everything was, was donated. Uh, there wasn't, it was just amazing. Here we are today to see this incredible blind that was designed and built for this true American hero who was blown up with a bomb and is disabled and in a wheelchair. And now Michael Crawford's a little shocked because there's a ton of people here he never dreamed were gonna be here. It seemed like half the town showed up uh, to come and help the, the giving of the trailer to Michael Crawford. There wasn't a parking spot left available. We've got Michael Crawford, that's what we're all here for right here, is this hero right here in the blue shirt. I was like, oh man, all this for me? I had another surprise for Michael, but I had to wait 
and make a phone call to make sure we can pull this off. Jesse James! <laughs> well, when I told Jesse about this, he said, man, I won't be there. You know, also, I'm going to bring you the gun. So he sat down and he made this gun just for you. Congratulations. Jesse James walks in and it's just, I think my jaw hit the floor. It was just cool to know that Celebrity would take the time out of his busy schedule to gift his rifle to me. He had to move to Texas because California was a thing about the whole all his talents. Jesse wanted to do more than just be there, so he made Michael an incredible rifle but it won't do him any good unless he's got the hunting blind. Now it's time to unveil the blind. So we're going to do it at the count of three, y'all? One, two, three. When they removed that black cloth, I was in shock. It was almost like winning the lottery. Michael Crawford is definitely, he's definitely a shy person. He was definitely overwhelmed. So it was definitely an uncomfortable situation for him. Mr. Crawford, will you allow me to show you the trailer and yeah. every specific special thing about it? Yeah. Morgan Thompson is one of uh, our students that's extremely talented and she's gonna take Michael on a tour of the blind. As far as dropping these down, all you have to do is pick them up and then pull this out and it, the entire thing drops. It's ready to be on the road, and that's something we're excited is you can pull right out of here with it tonight if you wanted. There was so much room. You can easily put three or four wheelchair-bound people in there. There's just so much room. I still have to remind myself that these kids in this high school here and in this program designed, built, and presented this blind to Michael. Heck, one of my former parents of the program, Peggy and James C. Payne Jr., came forward with a $4,000 check to get this project rolling. After that, we had just a flood of sponsors that came in to make this project happen. It was also unbelievable for the powerhouse of BASF, the world's largest paint manufacturer, mixed with Alamo Body and Paint and Capital Paint and Refinishes, came together for a $6,000 custom paint job. It was just mind-blowing. We're going to put the hunt together, okay? and then we'll set a time, get the date. Now the only thing left to do is to line up a deer hunt for Michael. I made General Leroy Sisko promise me that I could go on the, that very first hunt with Michael Crawford. What an awesome evening, right? Thank, Thank you all so much for coming out. Appreciate it. It was like the longest months of my life because I was so antsy and I wanted to get it out there. We're about 45 minutes from San Angelo, Texas by Mertzen, Texas, and it's a Spike S Ranch is where we're hunting. It's owned by Scooter Scott, and he's opened the doors up to help this incredible hero get him a big deer. Hey guys, come on up here so I can give you a tour of the blind. Almost all the guides on the ranch and all the hunting staff wanted to come see us set up the blind. Neat thing was we kind of put an anti-theft, anti-poacher deal. Setting up the trailer, I was just antsy, like a little kid on Christmas Eve. Yeah. All right, you get where you're comfortable. And I've seen you shoot before, so. You don't need any of my help. Uh, Rob Bevins is going to be Michael's hunting guide. And Norman Vick is here to make sure that the blind's going to work the way it was built for. And so he's all excited about that, too. So my job's going to be to just stay out of your way. Okay. And I can do that right over here. That's pretty easy. <laughs> you know what's really neat about everybody checking that blind out over there? One of them is an incredible hero, Medal of Honor recipient, Sal Junta. He is the first living hero to receive the Medal of Honor since the Vietnam War. Sal heard about this hunting blind and what was going on, and with all of his accomplishments, he appreciates these kids and what they've done. Because he come up to me several times over the weekend and can't believe these kids built this blind. Everything from design to the, to the finished product the kids did. They took the blind out and set it up. And the reason why they did that, they wanted to make sure the animals kind of got used to the blind 
And when they come in that area, they'd see it, it wouldn't bother them the next morning. I joined right out of high school in 2009, went to Fort Hood, then I deployed. December 27th, 2011, we were in the field on our way home. The Taliban climbing a bomb and the next is, uh, I'm waking up in San Antonio at Brook Army Medical Center. I did almost a year of rehab. It was an early start to the morning. Rod Bevins is our guide. This is the moment I was waiting for for months. We were waiting, waiting, and we saw beautiful animals come in in front of the blind, but it wasn't anything that was what they wanted off the ranch. It was nerve wracking, but also so much fun because the camaraderie was great. Once the morning hunt was finished, didn't get anything, which was fine and dandy. Uh, and then we just got ready for the afternoon hunt. You know, one of the things that blew me away was just that these uh, high school kids, young men and women who are deciding what they're going to do in life, had this vision and had the uh, the ability to build that blind. I mean, it's just a, that's a piece of art. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, it's been an amazing group of kids. Also on Michael's hunt with us was former Texas governor and United States Secretary of Energy, Rick Perry. During lunch between the morning and afternoon hunt, Governor Perry had praise for Dorman students at Bernie's Champion High School. The real foundation, I think, of our state and of our country are men and women who learn those vocational trades. Uh, and I, I, did, I just think, you know, I learned how to weld when I was a boy at 14, 15 years old in in, uh, in ag shop. Um, then I learned uh, how to manage a meeting uh, in the FFA. I mean. All of those practices, all of those skills uh, that came from FFA, from vocational agriculture, uh, I think are the real foundation for our country. Yes, sir, I'd probably be fair to say that you both of y'all's old shop teachers probably did more than just teach you shop. They probably taught you a lot of values did they ever, of life. Did they ever? In fact, Dorman Vic's welding technology class is the only program in the United States that has done work for the government. We've got to bring the vocational traits back before they're gone too far to not be able to bring them back for all those of us that enjoy bridges that are trustworthy and buildings that stand. I tell my students all the time, how many times does a light switch get clicked on and off in the world every minute? How many toilets flush? Somebody's got to be there to fix that. How much HVAC, and, you know, the plumber. I mean, it's just the people that keep America running, by and large, they learned it at a vocational school. We were in the blind for an afternoon hunt. I, we just couldn't believe how hot it was for January. It was hot, and we were just waiting for whatever might show itself. I could tell that something was wrong with Rod, that, that he was wanting to, to move locations with the blind. And he's under pressure since we only have one more day. When it got dark, Rod called it, and I was really disappointed. Rod told us that we should move the blind to another location for seeing different animals. The new location that Rod had in mind was up a pretty steep hill, so I wasn't sure how this was going to go. I was very nervous that even though my truck has power, I wasn't sure if it was going to make it up the hill. There was rocks everywhere, uh, uneven terrain. It was definitely testing the engineering of the entire blind to get it there. So th this blind can be put anywhere after we put it at the location that Rod wanted. I should have never told Rod that we could take this blind anywhere.
it was definitely hard to set up on that slope with all the rocks. You wanted to pick that rock up bad, didn't you? I definitely was excited to see that uh, the blind ended up successfully making it in one of the toughest locations. Finally, we got the blind set up and I couldn't wait for the morning hunt. Once daylight hits on the morning hunt, relatively wide open area for a good shot. While we were in the blind waiting for animals to come out, I knew that the trailer was working. Just like the day before, saw plenty of deer that I would really like, but Rod kept saying, no, no, no. After watching deer for several hours, Rod finally said, let's call it. So on the afternoon hunt, we were just sitting there, then when the first animal comes out, you're so happy and you're excited for more animals to come out. We saw deer that we didn't see in the morning and it, it got me excited. You know, as the day goes on, we're back at the lodge, Rick and I and Sal, and we're anticipating the sound of the shot to let us know that Michael got his deer. Words really can't describe the feeling, and it's just a, a lot of emotions. And I was also thinking that uh, I was already excited to get back to the shop to start building another one of these blinds to change other heroes' lives. The best moment of touching that deer and knowing that the hunt was successful was that I can fill my freezer with me. You packed your bags and shut the door. You crossed the sea to fight a war. You didn't know just what would happen to you. Stepped in the dirt, boots on the ground, and gunfire was the only sound. And to yourself you whispered, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The experience is definitely one that'll stand out and fuel that fire for us to reach success. You try each day, keep pushing through, but the battle is inside of you. It's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Christian. What an unbelievable end to an awesome journey. In your shop, these kids are learning to trade, to live the American dream because of what you taught them from the standpoint of a trade. But here's what. I will suggest is more important, is that their understanding that freedom ain't free, that there's a real cost keeping this country a freedom-loving place of liberty, uh, that's the lesson, that's the takeaway from this that's going to be uh, the real lifelong gift that you give them. It's just great to know that there's people out there that believe in the cause. Helping a wheelchair-bound person get out in the outdoors and seek out his hobby again. In a way, I believe I've found that this is what I was meant to do.
A special thanks to Governor Rick Perry and Medal of Honor recipient Sal Junta for their assistance during Michael Crawford's hunt. And also a special thanks to Jesse James for the incredible gift he gave this wounded hero and to the sponsors who helped make the design and construction of this special hunting blind possible. For $19 per month, you can help Military Warrior Support Foundation provide mortgage-free homes to combat heroes and Gold Star families. I want to thank you for helping us provide almost 900 mortgage-free homes to our nation's heroes. But we have a lot more to do. There are still 8,000 on our waiting list. With your donation of $19 a month, it can mean more homes to more American heroes. Your support will make a difference. Be a hero to a hero and call to make your contribution now. Thank you, and America thanks you.